two-part gauge. The first needle shows us the steam pressure for that steam jet for the firebox. And the white needle is actually for the auger, the stoker. Um, you can control that by the amount of steam you give it. You can make it run slow, you can make it run fast. For running slow, you run it nice, you just kind of creep it. Um, this gauge here, which is not up, it should be over to here, it, it shows us the water level in the tender, so we know how much water we have. Of course, this was up here, it was the water glass again. And then all these brass hand wheels and uh, handles, they're basically different accessories that run off of steam. There's a big manifold up on top of the engine right up in front here. And we can turn all these things on. We can pick which one we want on or off, and we can just do that. Um, some of these are very uh, intimidating. People get in here and they look at all these knobs and they go, whoa, <laughs> that's a lot, but it's really pretty simple. There was the main steam pressure gauge. A water glass again. And this is the throttle, this big brass device here. This is a throttle and it's locked for a reason. Uh, when the engine's just sitting, it's required by law that the throttle be locked. Uh, and that's true for any engine today. They have what they call a reverser lever that they have to take out. That basically locks the engine. So nobody can take off or can't go by itself. Uh, this is a standard brake system. It's the exact same brake system that they use on modern day engines today. And this little brass lever here is the reverser. That changes the pitch on the uh, drive system out there so we can go backwards. Um, this is the whistle and I can blow that for you if you want. The throttle is like this with both hands. You just this is the brake system. You have your independent engine brakes. And then your other lever is for your train brakes that controls the brakes on the rest of the train. So you use those brakes uh, generally in combination. Um, so and up here is your air pressure gauges. It shows you your main reservoir pressure in your engine and shows uh, the pressure on the rest of the train. The white one up there is your speedometer. You have a sander. You open the lever and that puts sand on down in front of the wheels on the track if it's if it's slippery. And this this brass lever right here is the blowdown valve. Basically, what we have here is a giant hot water heater, and we we boil so much water that it accumulates sediment and deposits in the boiler. So what we have to do is about every day, every morning before we take off. We blow it down, so we use the steam pressure in the boiler to blow the sediment out of the bottom of the boiler. And that helps, uh, makes the boiler last a lot longer, because you know if that sediment stays in there, it starts uh, uh, aggravating and, uh, and it's not good for the, for the boiler tubes and everything else with all that sediment in there. So we try to keep it as clean as possible.